And spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Whispers of Gold, we have the South Korean Zerg player, the Red Zerg, representing Gaiman Gladiators. It is Shin. Not all there. And spawning in the top left hand corner, we have we have the South Korean Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Gen G Esports. It is a Trap. Here we go. Finally, we can embrace some Zerg gameplay here tonight. We covered a lot of Protoss, a lot of Terran, but now we can see and experience some Zerg. But what I will say is a bit of a PSA here for all Zerg players in the chat. Um, I'm sure that Shin is going to be going for something more chaotic, something more wild, and uh, he just does his own thing. More often than not, he does his own builds, comes up with his own builds even, comes up with his own style, uh, which is why he's a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to cast, not the easiest player to emulate. Now, Shin can play standard, don't get me wrong, he can play standard, but he often does not. Shin, known for having kind of the largest brain in South Korea, does often, uh, yeah, just think outside the box. And I'm curious if Shin has been cooking during the PTR on these new maps and on the new patch. We'll see. For now, hatch gas pool, standard opener. Standard opener here by Shin. Likewise, a Trap going for his own gate expand back at home. Everything so far looking as it should. So far, so good. From here, we'll see what kind of tech Trap does embrace. Most likely going to be a Stargate opener into Oracles, um, but we'll see if Trap does deviate. Likewise, we'll keep an eye on Shin as well. As the Overlord dips in and Shin does confirm, just the standard opener. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Shin is part outside of the natural. Again, welcome to Whispers of Gold. Uh, I'll be honest, we haven't actually seen much macro play on Whispers of Gold. We've seen a lot of all-ins, a lot of two-base all-ins on this map. Again, the third bases are very exposed. They're very vulnerable. Aggression is favored on Whispers of Gold. We've seen that in the, or in really, every, actually every single game we casted on this map. <laughs> Whether there are Zerg players involved, Terran or Protoss as well. But for the time being, Stargate. There's going to be Stargate here by Trap. Uh, Trap does throw down the pylon further back behind the main base mineral line. This will make it much more difficult for Shin to scout and confirm. Uh, this does mean that the Overlord most likely will go down. And this could also mean Trap might go for a Void Ray instead of an Oracle. Um, but based on the scouting pattern of Shin, he will see this quite early on without too much issue. It doesn't come in from the right. He comes in from the south instead. Adepts are spotted. Uh, Shin does invest into our... Oh my god, 14 links? Uh, we go he's going for a link flood. Shin, he's investing heavily here into mass link. Jesus, and I said this before, Shin is much more of an aggressive and quirky player. A lot of all-ins, a lot of more odd styles, and yeah, he's going for the initial link flood. Links are moving out across the map. The Overlord does confirm the Oracle production. Shin is aware, and he's pushing. He's skirting around the edge. Link speed does kick in. And Shin, you can see the Overlord does get eyes on the units, the army, both adepts, the Stalker. Third base is attempted. And Shin, he wants the army, he wants that Stalker. The adepts as well does get this around. Takes down the adepts, takes down the Stalkers. Lings, they flood into the natural. One adept does survive. Ooh, nice plug, he does plug up the wall. Well, Lings, they flood in, they flood into the bases. Probes are under fire, the Oracle does help defend though. But it's running out of energy. The Oracle does run out. Boys, they have to fight. Probes are falling. It's going to be two, three probe kills. Ah, but only three. More importantly, though, throughout all of this, third base only just now got thrown down. Big delay on the third. Third base is delayed. Shin getting his own. Spores are being thrown down. Queens are on the way. He's droning and making a handful of wings to survive, to defend. But now it's on trap to counterattack. Trap does move out. I'm sure Shin was hoping for a better trade. I'm sure he was hoping for more drone kills. Didn't quite get them. Oracles, they make their way in between the bases. There is a queen in position. There's a spore as well. Oh, oh my god. And Shin is holding. Shin, as he holds, another Link Flood. Second Link Flood. This one should be designed to get on top of the third base, but there are three Adepts in position. There's an Oracle as well. Trappy should be fine. He should be fine. Lings, they poke in, and they back off. And this time, Shin, he will... Sorry, this time, Trap, he will defend. 
And Shin has to catch up in workers. He has to catch up. He's going to be droning. Interesting. Trap going for a Glaive Adept follow-up. That I was not expecting. But we have the Twilight Council. No Forge. No upgrades. It is going to be Glaive Adepts here. And there's a lot of potential for damage. If Shin skips out on Roaches, he could be vulnerable. As I say that, Roach won't. Shin, he's going for the Roaches. He is playing safe. And with the arrival of those Roaches, he should be able to defend. But that's only if Shin makes Roaches. If he skips them, if he drones, he could be in trouble. Adepts are moving out. Glaives is halfway done. Oracle's making their way in between the bases. So far, Shin is keeping up. He throws down his fourth. Adepts, they threaten the shade. More Adepts are amassing, and he's moving out across the map, and Shin, he misses the move out. Oh, Shin doesn't know. Shin does not know. He has the Roach one, but he's not making any Roaches. He doesn't know he needs them. He's making more Lings, and that means a trap. He has potential. Oh, Shin going for the Spire. He's crazy. Going into Mutas. <laughs> and he might just be caught with his pants down. Adepts, they have arrived. Glaives is finishing up here and now. Lings, they move out across the map. Adepts, they shade in between the bases. Oof, and the Lings, they're getting roasted. And they say push forward, they get one queen, they're getting a second queen as well. And Shin, he almost has nothing to defend. Roach production has begun. They're popping out just in time. Oh my god. They pop out just in time. Is it enough? Lings, they race back home. A couple of workers are going down. So far, only three drone kills. Shin, oh, I say that. A fourth drone goes down. Trap does target fire, getting five, six, seven worker kills. Shin holds. He does hold for now, but there's another wave of adepts. And Trap, he's not stopping. Shin, once again, does cancel the shade. He backs off. Trap does retreat. Shin has to resaturate. Has the Spire been scouted? Uh, the answer is it has. Spire was scouted. Oracles, they go for the Queen. The Queen goes down. Massive pickoff. Mutas are on the way. Even though Trap, even though the Adepts saw the Spire, the he might not have clicked. He might not have clicked on the Spire because I don't see a Phoenix. Yeah, no Phoenixes. Blink is on the way. That will help, but there's no setup here in the Mineral Lines. No Cannons in the Main and no Cannons in the Natural. Uh, there's a Shield Battery at least that will help. But the Mutas have potential. The Mutas have potential. If Trap was aware of the Spire, then I would imagine we would be seeing a Phoenix. Would be Phoenix production. His main army is looking solid though. Mutas are moving out, and the main is exposed. Yeah, the main is exposed. This will not be. This will not be the case if Trap was aware. The Mutas are now confirmed. Now he knows. Now Trap knows. He warps in back at home. Four stalkers, cannon on the way as well. Mutas, they can commit. Can and they will. They get one stalker so far. Just the one. Same time Oracles, they hit the fourth. Both players on the low economy. The Mutas, it looks like we invested into only 10 Mutas. And Shin is focusing on remaxing with Ling Roach Ravager. He's pushing out with the Grand Army. Shin is maxed out. He's going for the kill. Just to get a very chaotic style here out of Shin. Oh my god. Stasis goes off. Shin pulls away. There's another Stasis. Immortals are building up. Force fields will zone Shin back. And he does collapse in. The force fields once again, they zone him away. They buy some precious time for Trap. Mutas are coming from behind. Stalkers are keeping up. Shin, he dies on the Immortals. He gets one, he gets two. Two Immortals go down. Massive pickoffs. No more Immortals. But that's still a brutal concave. Shin has to retreat. Waste for reinforcements. Pushing back in. Gets a sentry. Sentry goes down. Cybercore gets sniped. Oh, so close to falling. There we go. It does fall. Only Zelda reinforced charge is still not done. And Shin is pushing in. Stutter stepping forward. Heavy Stalker isn't being replaced. Even sniping some of the gateways. Okay, just very methodical pickups here from Shin. Takes down both gates. One immortal pops out. 
I guess on top of the sentries. Gets one, gets two. And Shinny commits here at the third. The cannons are helping, and Mortals are coming from behind, and Trappy comes in for the surround. Oh shit, he overextends. Does overextend, has to back off, leading off a lot of roaches. And not the fight that Shin wanted. And has Shin lost too much? Yeah, he's droning. He's trying to drone up, working on plus two, working on bailing speed. I cannot trade with the main army. Trap holds. Trap does barely hold on. We see Shin micring his heart out with those muters, gets four probes. Doing whatever he can. And Trap can now take a four. He defends. He's now broken free. Cashing out overlords. Oof. Look at the supply block Shin. It's four overlords going down. Muters once again harassing the mineral lines. Oracles, they hit the fourth. Six drone kills, seven drone kills. Seven drones go down. Muters, they get three probes. Uh, tit for tat. Both players beating out workers. But Shin is running out of muters. And he's embracing Ling Bane Roach Ravager. Shin, he's remaxed once again. But the soup does lie. As we just saw, Shin, he might be up in army supply, but it's a very inefficient army. Very supply inefficient. Which is why, despite the deficits, Trap has been able to hold. Has been able to survive. We mentioned before that all ins are commonplace or whispers of gold. Once again, three base all in. Shin, he's only on 63 drones. That is, sorry, 67 drones. That is three base saturation. And Shin has no real longevity to this army. There's no hive, there's no hydras, there's no lurkers, greater spire or ultras, nothing else. Just purely Ling Bane Roach Ravager, purely a mid game army. A mid tier army. And he wants those immortals. Oh, the juggling. Prism comes into play. Decent piles. Yeah, Shin forcing his way through, getting on top of the Immortals. The juggling is good, but it's not good enough. It looks like Shin may have just done I say that. Ravagers are getting picked off. Ravagers are falling. Ling Roach gets into the mineral line. Probes are going down. That's still going to be 20 worker kills. Some of the Ravagers do survive. He wants the Immortals. Nah, he doesn't quite get them. Trappy comes in for the surround. It looks like he will. Can he save the base? It's close. Ling's coming to reinforce. Ling's, they come in. The Roach Ravager count gets completely reset. The final Ravager goes down. Oh, the juggling. But the base falls. The fourth base does fall. And Shin, he keeps filing in. Oh, the juggling. <laughs> the Warp is a micro is impressive. But Shin, numbers are on his side. And again, he got 20 probe kills. He got the fourth base. He got enough damage. Again, we spoke about, about it earlier, but this fourth base is so exposed. And Shin, he backs off and he remaxes. Now, Shin is making a couple of workers. He is somewhat saturating his bases. Pushing forward once again. Ooh, overextending, though. More freaking more bailings. This time, it looks like he's headed for the third. Roaches pop in. up a couple of zealots here comes that bailing run by it's gonna be Ling Bane towards the mineral line but the station trap is just finishing up in time up oh my god Shin with the reaction he does pull away baits out the stasis Roaches they move in towards the left they take down one of the archons and bailing's they bust into the mineral line probes are going down oh, can he get away uh he barely will it's gonna be eight probe kills nothing major nine probes full Roach is left hand side, and it's just barely enough. GG gets called, and Shin pulls the trap apart, and we'll take game number one. Whew. GG. Oh my god. GG, well played. Shin will take the first game. A very, very intense game. Again, Shin, he was all in for almost 15 minutes, was completely all in on three bases. And Trap, it was impressive. He was holding, he was defending for quite some time. But only for so long. He could only hold on for so long. Eventually, he was broken when he tried to take the fourth base. When he was defending on three bases, it was a lot more secure. But when he tried to take the fourth, he exposed himself. He spread himself thin, left himself wide open. And Shin did knock him down and did eventually pull him apart. GG. GG, well played. Shin takes a lead. And we'll see if Trap can bring it back. Game two is going to be on Ley Lines. We are going to be loading into Ley Lines here. 
Oh my god. Uh, but yes, yes. Oh, Anyong, Haseo, Papi, Anyong. For those who don't know, uh, Kronos, he is our resident Cranky Duckling member from South Korea. Uh, much love, much love. Kronos, he uh, for many years has been hard at work, of course, uh, at med school. At med school. Working on his degree, working on his master's. Much love to Kronos. Helping us out as well when it comes to uh, moderating the chat. Is from South Korea. Uh, thank you, thank you. Come sami da, baby. Come sami da. Thank you, Kronos. As we are getting into game number two. We're getting into game two here. And we'll see if Trap can force the ace match or if it all ends here and now. And we have a Zerg finalist. We'll see. We shall see. As spawning in the top right hand corner of Leylands, we have the South Korean Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Gen G Esports. Down in this series, we'll see if he can bounce back. It is Trap. Nuts, Oliveira. And spawning in the bottom left hand corner, we have, we have the South Korean Zerg player for Gaiman Gladiators. It is Shin. Here we go. Again, just a very aggressive style out of Shin. Remember, Shin, he started things off with a Ling Flood, followed by a second Ling, Ling Flood into Mutas, into three base, Roach, Ravager, Ling, all in, into Roach, Ravager, Ling, Bane, all in with plus two. Just the aggression did not stop for Shin, but we spoke about it. Whispers of Gold is a map that is more known for all ins. It is a much more difficult map to defend your third base and your fourth base, so Shin making use of that and to take advantage of that. Meanwhile, we can see Shin, he does wait out the probe. The probe moves out of position, and Shin will take the natural expansion. They'll take the expansion. Now, this was an inefficient start out of Shin. This was a very late expansion for the Zerg player, but it's on location. Shin, he did not want to he did not want to be forced to take the unnatural natural. So he will expand. When it comes to the features of Ley Lines, as opposed to Whispers of Gold, it makes sense for Trap to embrace this map. For those that are curious, it is Loser's Pick. It is Loser's Pick, Trap, he chose this map, and this map is much more defendable. You have a very narrow ramp coming in towards the third base, so very defendable here. This choke point is brutal. Likewise, the fourth base also has a narrow ramp as well on the right-hand side, which you can defend from both angles. Uh, likewise, here on the left, also another ramp, also much more defendable as well. We have seen many a player attempt to all-in on ley lines, and many a, many a player fail to all-in on ley lines. So Trap is just trying to be more secure. Go. Yeah, Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Master. Of course, of course. As we do see Trap going for a Stargate opener. So far, so good. It's going to be Stargate here from Trap, just like the previous game, going into Oracle. Standard setup here from our Protoss player. Uh, really, my eyes are going to be on Shin to see where he takes us. For now, third base is on the way. Makes a handful of things. It's just building up. Likewise, Trap also looking for a way in. Shades up the ramp. Shin is ready, just happily droning up, getting into his queens, getting into his third base. Oracle is on the way for Trap. Again, standard setup here. Should be leading to a third base. And it's going to come down to Shin to see whether or not he tries to deny the third once again with the Link Flood, or whether Shin tries to cut corners. Whether he skips roaches, goes into hydras, whether he embraces roaches once again. As I mentioned, I'm not really too fond of roach all ins on this map. I, I, I just haven't really seen too much success with that. So I'd imagine Shin wants to take a different approach. I would imagine. And I don't see him going into and committing into Mutas again. Not two games in a row. Uh, Shin for now is just droning. Oracle towards the main. He is making his way towards the main.
Shin is keeping up. We're rotating between the bases. And it will be able to, so far, not take any damage. I mean, the Oracles haven't really done much. They're still alive. They're still quite healthy as well. At any moment, if Shin, in fact, if Shin is out of position, Trap can punish. As Shin is going for an earlier Evo Chamber. Curious. I'm curious if he goes into Fast Plus on Melee. Which could be indicative of a Lair Tech of a Hydra Den. Meanwhile, Link's... They, sorry, the Oracles, they dip in. They get one drone. They fall out. So Depth's going to be harassing you on the right-hand side. But so far, the Links are keeping up. And there it is. A plus one Melee. Not range. We're reaching the five minute mark. We should be seeing the lair momentarily. Oracle, they dive into the mineral line, and there is no spore. Oh my god! No spore. Only three queens in position. That's gonna be seven drone kills. Insane damage. And this is what Trap was waiting for. Took him a long time. Took him a while, but he did find the damage. Again, Shin, his spore was a little bit too little too late. By the time it's done, the damage has concluded. And the Oracle survived. That's what's important. The Oracles did survive. Third Oracle arriving, Adepts on the right-hand side, five Adepts. My apologies, sorry, six Adepts, seven even. Trap committing a little bit harder here. Seven Adepts into plus one and blink. Oracle's still threatening a dive. You can see Shin, he starts the lair. He has not thrown down a Roach Warren. This looks like Ling Hydra or potentially Ling's into Mutas. It's going to be one or the other, either the Spire or the Hydra Den. Meanwhile, Adepts, they hit the fourth, looking for a cancel, and they're going to get it. Yeah, massive cancel here on the fourth. Shin, he is struggling. Still just build, building up his lings. Expanding here towards the north. And we are still waiting for the tech. We're waiting for the lair to finish. But Trap does have momentum. It's pushing out. It is going to be a Twilight, sorry, a Temple Archives follow-up in towards Storm. There is the Hydrogen, as we did mention. So again, Shin, he's just going straight Ling Hydra into Lurker Tech. He has been struggling. Shin double expanding. He is behind. Needs one of these bases to survive. And the set expansion is going to be cancelled. Once again, another cancel in the fourth. Trap, he does maintain his aggression. Maintains his position here outside of the bases. Lings, they set up his first round, but they cannot engage. Overlord goes down. Shin, he has to pull back. Hydras are amassing. Infestation is all the way. That should be for Hive Tech, for Adrenal, and for eventually Lurker upgrades. We do see Shin going for a massive counterattack. Trap, he races back home as well. Keeps up with the links. Does punish them. Over Syria to the main. Does confirm Storm. Links, they do threaten the third base. Meanwhile, Trap, he's going for the fourth once again. And Shin, he can't afford to lose it. He cannot lose his fourth base. The Queens are exposed. Links, they come in from behind. They get a surround. Stasis gets baited. Yeah, a very nice setup here by Shin. Catches out Alicia Depths. Links are coming from behind as well. Going for the Stalkers. And finally, a fight goes well for Shin. Takes out the Adepts. Chases down the Stalkers. Does punish very hard. Bleeding out only Lings. I just keep pushing. Ooh, and has Shin overextended? Storm is on in two seconds. Storm now finishing up. Shin backs off. He does get away with his double expand. And he does drone up to 80. 86 drones. Shin, he droned heavily here. But he gets away with it. Saves the fourth, gets a fifth. Lurker Den is on the way. But Trap now has Storm. Before Lurkers hit the field, Storm is ready. And that's going to be three Storms for Trap. And Storm against Ling Hydra can be brutal. Shin spreading out. Trying to engage. There's a first Storm. There's two more left. Two more Storms available. Trap taking it slow. The concave is brutal. We spoke about this earlier. We spoke about how defendable these ramps are, uh, whether it's here towards the south, here towards the center, or here towards the northern side as well. And despite the fact that there's no lurkers, we can see the trap. He cannot gain any ground. He's trying, though. 
Yeah, Ling's engaged. Lurkers are on the way. Storm does connect. Oh, and Shin, he is vulnerable. The Lurkers are still in production. Shin needs more time. Queens are coming forward. Hydras are running out. Lurkers, they have arrived. And where's the detection? There is none. Is no detection. Archons are falling. Shin holds. The Lurker. Again, without these Lurkers, that could have been game. Then and there. That could have been game. It could have been over. Lurkers, they were in just in time. And Shin survives. Meanwhile, with the arrival of the Lurkers, Fleet Beacon. Sky Toss. Trap, he's already got his fourth up and running. Sky Toss is on the horizon here for the Frodos. At the same time, Zalarama here on the right-hand side. Shin is ready here with the Lurkers, and he does respond with his links. Uh, but don't, not before losing four drones. Shin is keeping up. Does catch the Zealots. Behind this, Nidus Worm is on the way. Hive is done. Adrenal has not been researched, which is a little bit concerning. I mean, Shin doesn't have the gas. Shin has been hyper-fixated and prioritizing Lurker production instead of, of course, uh, upgrades. And Shin splits up his army. He has the bare minimum amount of Lurkers here to defend. As he's counter-attacking with the rest, uh, Shin is out of position. He's going for the Nidus. Going for the Nidus at the same time, Trap is pushing up towards that fourth. And we could end up in a base raid. Does trap recall. Detection is here. Lurkers are getting picked off one after the other. These lurkers, they are no longer for this world. Lurkers are gonna fall. And Shin doesn't care. He's going for the counter sack. He's going for the base trade. Losing one, but gaining another. Yeah, he breaks down the front door, takes down one of the robos. There's one robo left. Sorry, two robos left even. Meanwhile, lurkers into the main. The Nidus is gonna be cleaned up. Back at home, Ling reinforces. They shut down the army. It looks like Trap did recall. And Shin holds. Shin holds back home. Shin only loses four drones. He, he saves the base. How? How did he save it? He's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. He saves the expansion. Natural base falls. Lurkers are going ham. Lings, they come in to reinforce. Oh, the micro here out of Shin. It dives into the Nidus. Dives back, it dives back out. Again, came for the production. And you can see Shin diving on the third. Nexus already fell. Reinforcements on the way. And Shin, it looks like he has broken trap. It's just too much. GG gets called. And Shin will take the series 2-0. to zero. GG. Oh, my God. Crazy. <laughs> GG. Well played. Congratulations. Shin will take the series 2-0. to zero. Very chaotic gameplay. Very risky gameplay as well. As a reminder, Shin, he was skipping roaches. He intentionally skipped roach production. He went Ling into Hydra. And you saw that he almost died in the process. He was very much, very much so struggling to defend and hold on. He got into Lurkers just in time. Got into Lurkers uh, just in time. Was able to hold, able to survive. He went for a very risky move, going for the Nidus across the map, going for the, going for the counter attack, and did pull it off in the end. GG, well played. Shin does advance onto the grand finals. We have a Zerg player confirmed, but the question becomes who will face off against him in those finals? Who is it going to be? As we are getting ready here for our PvP, we're getting ready for the upper semis. It's going to be a PvP between Hero and Zhao. 